Good morning. Yes, it's morning. I am here at the park getting ready for my two mile mornings. So I didn't do the thing with the face that you do in the morning before you see people. But I thought, hey, this is the perfect time to start a day in the life video. All right, so it is Wednesday morning. Yesterday, my boys stayed home from school after Halloween. One of them got a really bad stomach ache. I went ahead and kept the other one home because I was worried that the the same thing would happen to him because he ate the same foods and stuff and it was bathroom problems so I didn't get to come walk yesterday so I'm here today to do my two mile mornings and I'm not feeling it today I my six-year-old still gets up in the night I don't know he has bad dreams so he got up again last night we're trying to get him to stop waking me up whenever he comes in but he doesn't he just wakes me right on up so I couldn't get back to sleep after that and I have a problem falling back to sleep after I've woken up in the night even when the boys were babies it was horrible like for me because I don't function well with not a lot of sleep and and so I you know every time they would wake up I just couldn't get back to sleep forever so I'm pretty beat but I've got to get some listings done today big time because what happened Monday I don't remember <laughs> Halloween so then that evening we did Halloween. Tuesday, the kids were home all day. I got, a, I got a little bit done, but not a lot. Today, I'm clear to do stuff. Tomorrow, I'm taking my mom to the quilt festival. So that's going on. Um, so yeah, I gotta get busy today. But here I am talking to you because I thought, hey, I like to talk to you. And it makes me feel like, oh, all right, it's cool. I'm already having like, I haven't even started walking yet. But I feel like I swallowed a bug, right? So I feel like in the back of my throat and mouth is like something happened. Like I feel like I swallowed a bug. So I keep trying to clear my throat. How could I swallow a bug? I haven't even gotten out of the car yet. I don't know. I am going to go walk. I'm going to listen to Merch Minds podcast. That's hosted by Young and Glenn Zubia over at Hustler Hacks. And then today at 11 Central... I am interviewing Caroline Matthews, Mrs. M. She has a YouTube channel called Caroline Mrs. M. She's also an admin over in the International League of Thrifters, and she's my friend. So we're going to talk about stuff, reselling and other stuff. And then I'm going to list things. <laughs> and I don't know. I don't know. We'll just see. I mean, we'll see where the day takes us. How about that? I may, I don't know. I may get out of the house to list. I may go sit at a restaurant, you know, like Panera or the coffee shop or something. Because <clears throat> when I'm at home, I get distracted. A lot. So, all right, I'm stalling. Yay, two more mornings. Really, I gotta get out of the car. Maybe there's some good Pokemon. That, that'll motivate me. <laughs> okay, there I go. Bye. Okay, so I got ready. I'm not even plugged into you. <laughs> um, and then Caroline and I were supposed to have our chat this morning, but we had technical difficulties. So we're having to reschedule that, which is fine. So now I'm going to make a different video, one that I lay out how you can make money as a stay-at-home mom. And... <clears throat> So then I'm going to do some listing and we'll let you know how things are going. All right. Hello. Look at me. I'm looking professional. I'm looking like a working girl. Not like a working girl, but like a working girl. <laughs> so Caroline and I did not get to do our chat today. We had some technical difficulties. My internet was acting weird and then it was just, it wasn't happening. So last minute I had to pull the plug and that's, that's cool. You know, life happens. And so I used that time to record another video that I've been writing notes on forever. And I decided to go ahead and make the video. And it's 
Now, I've made a video before about something similar, about how reselling is perfect for stay-at-home moms. This one highlights a little bit more about all the different ways that I make money, like the different platforms, you know, because I don't just get money from one platform. So, all the different multiple income streams that I have and how someone could earn extra income using those ways. Many of them you may know about already. <laughs> but I figured <clears throat> there may be people that don't. So why not? I aim to help. I like to help. So anyway, now you may ask yourself, what are you doing? Aren't you supposed to be listing? My husband called. He was, he's been really busy at work. It's been crazy. Um, but he, well, I didn't call, he texted. He texted and said, lunch today? Question mark. We don't get to have dates very often. Um, and so we take the time when we can. And if it's a lunch date, then so be it. And luckily I have the flexibility that I can say yes. I brought my laptop too, so I may go after that, go to Panera or someplace and uh, and do that. Not to sound vain, y'all, but I'm loving my hair today. <laughs> Is that funny? Like most days I'm like, ugh, my hair, but I'm looking at myself I'm like, hey, it looks pretty good today. <laughs> you know you have those days where you're, you know, for me personally, I'm like, most days I'm like, yeah, okay, I look alright. And then every now and then you have one of those days where you're like, wow. I'm looking pretty good today. <laughs> My hair's doing that for me today. I'm liking it. It's growing out finally. You know, I whacked it all off a while back. So it's growing back out and I'm liking it today. Okay, enough about that. <laughs> so yeah, Randy and I don't get to go on dates very often. Good thing I'm looking good. <laughs> so yeah, we, we're meeting at Payway which I haven't eaten at in years. The reason being, a friend of mine got really bad food poisoning there. But it's been like five years ago. So, yeah. We are going to meet at Payway, which just so happens to be close to the Goodwill. So I like to pop into this Goodwill because frequently they have nice jewelry. That was the one that I got time sucked into last time. I was actually meeting Randy for lunch that time too. <clears throat> and this is, I think we actually went for lunch last week or the week before. So this is a, really a lot for us. Usually like months go by. I mean, the last time he and I went on a, an evening date where like my parents watched the kids, it was before my mom had her strokes. It's been that long. Um, so, yeah, it's, we've got, I mean, yeah, they've watched the kids since then, but one time Randy had a training and I was in Chicago, uh, so it's, I just hate to ask them, and then we don't really get babysitters, I don't know, I'm so, I guess I'm a protective mom in that way, you may notice you rarely see my children in videos or photographs, um, because I just don't. Why risk it? You know what I mean? There's so many crazies out there and so many predators you hear about. I'm like, why would I? I don't know. You can't replace those kids. Uh -uh. <clears throat> so I don't. And you know, and I don't fault people that do. I mean, that's their choice. But, and it may have to do with personal history as well. You know, if you have never experienced anything in your life that had to do with predators, child predators, sexual predators, you know, or abuse, I'm happy for you. <laughs> but I think maybe because of personal history in my own life, you know, and knowing of things, that it's not something I would ever wish on my own children. So that's my personal thing. I'm not going to get into the personal otherness of that. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't know, I feel like I'm digging myself into a hole here. But no, I, I mean, I don't say that in any way to 
criticize people that, that share their children because lots of people do and that's cool I just don't I just don't <clears throat> so yep it is Wednesday and I meant to look for estate sales for things because two two or three weeks ago was the Wednesday when I found all that awesome stuff <laughs> I don't need more stuff y'all my room is a mess and I worked on cleaning it up some there's nothing gonna happen to clean that room up anymore except for selling it <laughs> it's not going anywhere there's nowhere else for me to put it there's no more shelf there's no more tub nothing it's just gotta go just gotta go alrighty I had lunch with Randy I was talking to you and then the phone he called and so what am I gonna say sorry Randy I can't talk I'm recording a video but no I didn't say that he was talking about work so I listened and then we went to payway it wasn't so bad salty oh salty and I had something sesame with tofu and vegetable that was good that was good tofu and vegetable okay so let's talk about that I've been watching a couple people who I know are vegetarian or vegan so I was vegetarian for mm, goodness like 15 years or something um, right you know, when I was finishing up college and starting teaching and all that I was vegetarian for a long time and I started eating poultry again and drinking milk I wasn't vegan but I didn't drink milk I don't know it grossed me out so I didn't eat or drink those things until I got pregnant with my first born and I got and I was I was still vegetarian through most of it but I got so much pressure from family that that were worried that I wasn't eating right I don't know um, so I was like fine okay I will drink some milk and eat some chicken every now and then and so then it just sort of went from there and I'm I'm chronically anemic and so just a couple of years ago I started eating red meat again <clears throat> so I am starting to swing back the other direction where I am now cutting the red meat and pork um, I just have to keep up with my protein I have to keep up with my iron you know so I have to take iron pills you know that it doesn't matter I know people will tell me eat some more spinach eat some more beans I'm like yes 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 I do that I do but I still am anemic so but truthfully I mean sadly a nice rare steak takes care of it uh, go figure so uh, but I'm I'm pulling back from that so it's been a couple weeks now since I've had no no it's been almost a couple weeks because I had one slip up I forgot one morning I took the kids for donuts and kolaches and just it I, I didn't even think about it I got a kolache and ate it and I was like oh wait a minute I wasn't eating red meat anymore uh, hold on so there's that and then you know I, I, eventually I'll move towards getting rid of the, the chicken as well uh, vegan I don't know I, I don't know about if I if I'd be able to do whole all the way vegan we'll see the reason is ready honey I know why there's agave nectar and all of this and that but honey I love honey Tupelo honey is my favorite that is a special honey that is collected from bees and in the swamps. <laughs> is that weird? Tupelo honey. There's a certain flower. I guess it's a tupelo. I don't know. Anyway, 
but this is the story that I am told from my uncle who gets the Tupelo honey for me, is that it's collected from swamp flowers. And an interesting fact about Tupelo honey is that it does not crystallize. Hi, I'm going this away. So, you know, like a lot of honeys will crystallize and you've got to heat them up or whatever to, to decrystallize them. But Tupelo honey does not. And it's delicious. So, yeah, I'm going to, you know, drink the nectar of these poor little bees' hard labors. <laughs> but I love it, you know, and some tea. That's one of my favorite in, in the winter time. One of my favorite drinks to help keep me well is grated ginger lemon squeeze lemon and honey and that's just like oh so good it just warms you all over it's like the nectar of the gods i think okay so i had lunch with randy and now i'm at goodwill because why wouldn't i be um i was gonna go list oh i have my computer um and then I decided I'm gonna go to Goodwill and then I will go home and list because I feel like it. I'm gonna go sit in my recliner and watch Antiques Roadshow and knock out some listings. That's what's gonna happen. All right, I'm so glad my hair's growing out. I'm sitting here looking at it like, look it, it's coming back, it's growing back out, yay. You know what I liked to do when it was long was I would just braid it in the back, you know, and have a braid going down my back. I don't have very thick hair, so it was a thin braid, but I liked it. All right, I'm going to go into Goodwill. I told Randy, I'm looking for jewelry. I'm looking for jewelry. He's like, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, famous last words, going in looking for jewelry. <laughs> I'll let you know what I find. All done in the Goodwill. I... I didn't end up buying anything. There were a few pieces of jewelry that I was like, okay, hold those for me. And then <clears throat> if I found more stuff, I would have gotten them. But I didn't, I didn't find anything else. So, so I just decided not to get them after all. Cause I've got tons of stuff. I don't sound like I need anything else. One of the, one was a brooch and it was okay. And then the other was a belt buckle, which I haven't done amazing with belt buckles anyway, so um, I just passed on it after all. So now off to home and listing. What time are we at? Wow, how does the day go by so fast? 1.41. I picked the boys up at 3 o'clock. That did not go as expected. <laughs> What's new, right? What's new? Going to get in the car. So I went in and I finished a video earlier and I needed to upload it. <sighs> Alright, so things did not go as planned. Surprise. <laughs> they tend to not. <clears throat> I went in, sat down, pet my cats, <laughs> and then, hang on, and then uh, there was a video I made earlier, and so I was uploading that and getting the title done and the thumbnail. My radio took over. It took over. So yeah, um, yeah, that didn't go so well. My 10 listings for the day have been zero. So <laughs> this, this is my life. But I made my choices. But I still have the rest of the day. Oh gosh. I ordered it, it's coming. I ordered a phone thing, a majigger, plunker. A foam plunker that I'm going to plunk on my windshield and you can hang out in that. And then you'll be closer. We'll be up close and personal. So yeah, now I'm heading to get the kids. When I get home with the kids... Oh, you fell again. 
And when we get home, it's homework time, and I've got to box something. I've got to box something up, take to the post office, and then it is off to swim lessons. Now, I have pictures of one thing on my phone, because I took some pictures of some nail polish that I got in my last, what was it? My, my play, Sephora play box? Or my Ipsy, one or the other. But it's still new, and so I'm gonna go ahead and sell it. And I saw some sold for like 10 bucks, so that made me happy. Because if it came in Sephora, I think that's 10 bucks a month, or one of them is 10 bucks, I think. 10 or 12. <coughs> so I can list that when I get to the, my brain left, when I get to the swimming place, the pool. <laughs> the place with the water and the paddle and the doggy paddle and the lifeguards. That place. So yeah, homework and box something. It's a topsy-turvy doll. I've always done really well with topsy-turvy dolls. This one, I, it was on sale. I mean, the person bought it, it was on sale in my store. But I still think it sold for like $50. I think is really good. It's a Madame Alexander one and it's really pretty. I had it listed for way higher on Etsy just to see. You never know. Um, so it's sold for about 50 bucks and it's going to go out today. It's like a wicked stepmother, I think. I'll show you. I'll show you later. All right, so now we're in line to get the kids. I was wondering, I mean, I guess, you know, I can look at my channel, my analytics in my channel, but I just thought I'd ask you, like, what, what are your favorite videos, the favorite kinds of videos, you know what I mean? I haven't done a sales video in a bit, those are always, uh, those are always do pretty well, so I, I guess I should do a sales video. And then tomorrow I'm doing a live live hangout with Joe Clay and we're going to talk about merch. There's a Q&A I'm doing. You know, I put out the feelers for some merch questions that people might have and then if I can answer them or if Joe can answer them and we've asked one other person to come on. I don't want to say yes or no for sure because he says he's going to be all over the place tomorrow but if he's able, he's coming on. If not, I'll have him come on another day. <clears throat> and yeah I mean because I feel like I'm not the master of merch at all and I'm sure Joe feels the same way but he and I what we have in common is we both see the potential and we both are constantly trying to find the next like improvements that we can improve our design, that we can improve our keywords, that we can improve our, you know, to get there, to figure it out. I mean, because I think some people, it just comes naturally, and then some people, they got to work at it. And I'm one of those people that have to work at it. And I'm the first one to admit it, you know, I'm not, I'm not a expert, you know. And so if people have a problem, like, why are you making videos about stuff you don't feel like you've got an expertise about it? Some things I do, some things I feel like it's a journey. Like it and it, it would feel nice to watch somebody going through this journey. You know? So I listen to podcasts about merch. I watch videos. I look at websites and I'm in Facebook groups. I read things that they post there. So it's it's good, Joe, and I think Joe and I have that in common. Um, so, for us to explore the questions that a lot of people have, it's good for everybody. You know, I think, I think. So I'm wondering also if my kids are gonna have a lot of makeup work because they were out yesterday, or if they're gonna take care of that in school. If it's for a grade, generally they'll take care of it in school. <clears throat> and then dinner, I haven't even thought about what's for dinner. I haven't. 
I haven't cooked anything like fancy in a while. Like I know how to cook, but most of the time it ends up being something like, you know, let's go. We're having tacos tonight. We're some nights at sandwiches. Last night it was chicken and vegetables. It was easy peasy. Let's get this moving. Let's get this party started. So we'll see what we do tonight. We will see. I was telling, I, I'm in a Facebook chat with some friends. Most of them are UK, all of them are UK resellers. Oh, but I think about it. They're all UK resellers. Um, but I was telling them last night, I have 96 videos in my watch later folder on YouTube. I'm so far behind on watching my friends' videos. I watched some last night and commented on some. Karen Lebo, I did hers. A couple of them, I think. <laughs> Nick, Caroline, who else? Who else did I watch last night? I watched a couple this morning, but I didn't get a chance to comment yet. I watched one of Zaheer and Beck's. And I watched another one of Nick's. But I didn't comment on them. I like to leave a comment to let them know I was there. Because I like comments to, so I know you're there. I do. When I see like videos that have like 100 views and like one comment, I'm like, come on. Just say hi. <laughs> Throw a girl a bone. Throw this old girl a bone. <laughs> say hey. Hey, Margaret. I see you to watch your video. Hey. <laughs> it's cool. I get it. All right, I'm gonna pause because I'm gonna get the kids. Kids home. I boxed up my package. It started to rain randomly, and they are now outside in the rain with their shirts off, begging me to give them a bar of soap because they want to shower. And they're, they're saying they want to shower in the rain so they don't have to take a shower tomorrow. Like, wait a minute, what happened to today and tomorrow? So yeah, that's happening. Um, I'm supposed to be getting them ready to like do homework and go to swim lessons. But it's so hard. I know they've been in school all day and it's so hard to, to say, okay, stop playing in the rain and let's get busy with homework. Right? We'll get there. We'll get it done. <laughs> to me, I'm like, this is more important. Is that bad? Not more, more important, but it's really important. They've been in school all day. Let them play in the rain, right? Mm -hmm. 